What's the best case of instant karma that you've ever seen? While working for the fire department, on a call for a multi-vehicle rollover accident on the interstate, we got on the interstate one exit away, running into traffic, so we moved over to the emergency lane with lights and siren. We were about halfway there and a BMW pulls in front of us trying to cut through the traffic. He didn't even look. I laid into the air horn and he came to a complete stop, with his middle finger out the window. I'd had a lot of people do stupid things when seeing lights coming at them, but this guy was being in butt for the sake of being in butt. He got out of his car and started screaming at us. Meanwhile he was blocking the only fire engine and two ambulances available. People were really hurt half a mile away, and he was making his stand because we honked our air horn at him for blocking us. I looked out at my mirror to see a highway patrolman running between lanes towards us. He was P. BMW boy was immediately arrested, his pretty car got pushed out of the way into a ditch and he went to jail. The people in the accident were hurt bad, and two cars had to be cut open to get people extricated from bent metal. It was frustrating. I don't know how you didn't beat the living crap out of him. I would surely not have the patience. Used to commute to DC from 40 miles away. Driving home one evening, this dude decides he must merge into my lane now. Beeping and all, he pushes me off the road. The car behind me was a cop. As soon as I was on the shoulder, lights and sirens went on and the dude was pulled over. It was my own karma. I was in 8th grade. I was standing on a bench when I watched some girl fall over in the yard. Started laughing and pointing and then went to lean back onto the fence that was behind the bench. Turns out it had broken off where I was standing and I fell straight through and into the mud. I'm in the NYC subway. A guy elbows me out of the way to get into the turnstile first yelling vaguely that he has a train to catch. No crap. Through the turnstile, turn the corner and there are a few cops set up near a folding table and he gets pulled to have his bag searched. This crap is the worst. My other pet peeve is when the subway is coming to the next stop, and someone in the middle has to loudly declare, move out of the way, I have to get off you hhh yeah, so does pretty much everyone else on the subway wait your turn. I worked at a grocery store, I was stocking instant noodles on a big sale display, all I had was a cheap small step 2 step stool, you know the one with the bar that runs across the top step, reaching down to the stool from the shelf I was standing on was about 3 feet dart I had a 60% chance my foot would land on the top bar and collapse the thing. I asked a co-worker to use his shoulder as a handle as I got down. My supervisor called me a princess for getting assistance. Soon after he was stocking the 2 liter coke bottles on a sales display, he tried to get down. He took the 40% success rate jump onto the step, hit the top bar the step ladder collapsed. He broke his arm and took down half of the display. I just clocked out and left before they told me to clean up the spilt soda all over the place. Sometimes the malevolent gods of retail can smile on a poor worker. The beauty of that moment is truly unable to be explained to those who have never been a retail worker. I was driving home on the highway during a horrible blizzard at night. The roads were extremely slick and dangerous. I was going about 30 miles per hour. My daughter was a newborn and it was the first time I had ever driven in the snow with her. I was nervous. Some jerk in a huge truck is doing 65. Passing everyone in the slow lane and just being really risky and ignorant to the conditions and other drivers in general. He passed me. And I was like. You're gonna crash bro. Right at that moment. The dude fishtails. Loses control. And crashes into a ditch. Don't worry. I'm not a sadist. He was completely fine. I know this because I saw him emerge from the truck and do a little angry freak out dance. His truck wasn't fine. That's what you get for endangering others during a blizzard. Yeah, I was driving home from work during a snowstorm and this truck was tailgating and honking at me. So I pull into a turning lane to let him pass. This was midnight, so I wasn't in anyone's way. He floors it, and immediately fishtails and spins off of the road. Driving through Philly in standstill traffic some ashat decides to use the shoulder as a lane to cut in line. The vehicle he ended up cutting off was a state trooper. An instant whoop whoop and told to pull off the highway over a loudspeaker. I couldn't stop laughing. I love when people do this then everyone else in the lane decides they are in butthole and refuses to let them back in. I've seen it happen a few times and they just end up farther back than they were before. 
That time I had my shoes stolen. I was 17. Went to a party where there were kids from two different high schools. When I went inside I took off my brand new Nike Air Marder shoes that I had just bought for $140. Hours later, when I went to leave, my shoes were gone. We had an idea of who took them a guy from the other school, but didn't have proof. I was so sad and so embarrassed. I had to drive home in my socks. Long story short, a week later, Monica, the girl who threw the party, shows up on my doorstep holding something behind her back. Turns out she went to a party and saw the guy who stole my shoes, wearing them. When he took them off after a smoke break she snagged them. Now, standing in front of me she reveals my Nikes. She told me the best part was watching him look for them just like I had, and then leave in his socks. Monica kicks butt. Walking down the San Antonio River walk, guy in front of us gets pooped on by a bird. Friend turns to me and says, sucks to suck friend literally gets pooped on as well, right at this moment. I like this one, it's very pure. Butthole kid in middle school kept trying to steal my cell phone. It was a cheap flip phone, but he'd do it just to pee me off. Our school had a rule that you couldn't have your phone out in class. Teacher left the classroom for a second to have a brief word with an administrator. Jerkus kid grabbed my phone. Teacher came back in a moment later and caught him red handed with my phone out. She wouldn't believe it wasn't his phone. He got detention. Back in high school I was kind of being a dong to a girl I was friends with. Nothing too bad, just some friendly teasing, but still. Then I turned around and fell down a flight of stairs. Even mid fall the karma and the justice did not escape me. We both found it pretty funny. At the end of the day in locker room after gym class, this freshman kid who was really popular and always talked a lot of crap started messing with this guy who was kind of awkward and kind of got picked on a lot. Apparently, they got in each other's way in flag football or something. Awkward guy ignores cocky kid for a while until the cocky kid pushed him. Awkward guy had enough and hit the cocky guy in the face three times before he hit the ground. Knocked his front teeth out. As we were all leaving school and talking about it, the overall consensus was, well, that's what happens when you talk that much crap. Don't know what to tell you. Teach. I guess he just talked so much crap. His teeth just rotted and fell out. My dog tried to eat my sushi while I was away from the table for a second. I came back to missing wasabi and a disgusted looking dog. In the UK, kids wear blazers and ties to school and a common bullying tactic that jerks used was to run up to kids, pull their ties so they get really tightly knotted. On the bus home, the bus was really full, and I was standing in front of one such bully. He grabbed my tie just as the bus had to break sharply. He lost his footing and the only thing keeping him upright was the fact that he was holding my tie. He had grabbed the wrong bit. It wasn't knotted. I simply untied it. He fell on his bum. That was the last time I was knotted. In my school everyone had clip on ties. And because if the strict dress rules some bullies would yank them off and wouldn't give them back. However, some people had proper ones. Usually as a replacement for losing them. One of my friends had one and some asshole yanked it really hard. Causing said friend to accidentally headbutt the dude in the face giving him a nosebleed. I was working in a supermarket when panicked customer A came up to me and said he'd accidentally left his cash in the ATM and had anyone handed it in. I was about to say no when customer B appeared behind him and said he'd been trying to catch up to him. He'd been queuing behind him at the ATM and saw what happened. So he'd got the money for him. It was £200 so a decent amount. Customer A was super grateful and offered him some of the money but he wouldn't take it. Customer B then bought a scratch card, scratched it, and found he'd won £5. Not a whopping amount of karma, but karma nonetheless. At a job as a mechanic I got a part that was completely correct except the electrical plug was a different shape. I found out after I installed it. For the record it did plug in, just didn't have long enough prongs to communicate. I had to order the right part again and take this one off and install the right one. All while only getting paid to put the correct one on. Lost about 1.3 hours. My co-worker laughed and said bet you won't make that mistake again. Pay attention next time. His very next job he put all four tires on backwards. Some tires are directional. Said the same thing to him. I knew I would use it against him, didn't know it would be that soon. TL. 
DR. I made a hard to spot mistake. Dude made fun of me. His very next job he made an easy to spot mistake. I made fun of him. I broke a plastic piece on the tire machine. Guy near the tire machine said something under his breath. I said, like you've never broken one. He had never broken one. Later on, when he did a set of tires, he broke the new plastic piece. Justice. My dad told me this story. He was driving back from the shore when traffic got really bad. About a mile ahead, there was an accident that had brought traffic to a crawl. Crap happens. My dad decides to be patient about it. Others weren't so patient. People began driving on the shoulder in order to get ahead of the traffic. This pisses my dad off. We all know how this goes. We do the right thing and are punished for it. Whereas these buttholes are skipping in front traffic and will probably get away with it. He thought about following the stream of cars onto the shoulder. But he decided he'd do the right thing and wait. As he got closer he saw two cops in a parking lot. One cop was directing all of the shoulder drivers into the parking lot. While the other wrote all of those drivers tickets. He describes it as one of the most satisfying things he's ever seen. I was driving into a construction zone where three lanes converged to one. Right at the point it became one lane. A car tried to pass me on my right. I slowed down so he wouldn't hit me, but he ran over one of those metal lane dividers. It got caught up in his back right wheel well and went around a few times. I could see and hear it make a mess of his fender. Last I saw he was pulling over to inspect the damage. I cannot picture the lane thing you're talking about. I banged my knee on the corner for a hotel bed and my husband was laughing his butt off while he was brushing his teeth in the bathroom. As soon as he walks out of the bathroom, his hit his knee the exact same way and I got to laugh my butt off. My boyfriend has a big GMC, and one winter it was really snowy and a bunch of cars had gone into the ditch, as you do, because he's a nice guy. He was spending his day off pulling people out for free. At one point, while he was helping someone, some butthole flew by him, wailing on the horn and flipping him off out the window. He got done pulling the car out and headed up the road in the direction that jackass had gone. A mile up the road, they found him standing outside of his car, which was now plowed into a giant freaking tree. Boyfriend honked his horn, waved, and kept driving. Dude just hung his head like a scolded dog. Truly beautiful. He sounds like a nice guy. Saw a guy in a gorgeous sports car, Ferrari I think, honking and yelling at a pedestrian in the crosswalk. Pedestrian had the right of way and was crossing during the signal. Immediately after they passed the guy guns it and darts around the corner and rear ends a cop who was in the middle of writing a ticket. There was a truck parked on the street that was just enough to obstruct Ferrari guy's line of sight through the turn. It was glorious. I didn't even see it happen. I just heard the crunch right after he turned the corner. I have a lot of police in my family and let me tell you. They love nothing more than ticketing arrogant buttholes in nice cars. Cherry red cars especially. Not instant karma but I remember in middle school I knew a kid that would go door to door collecting donations for the walkathon and he'd keep the money for himself. He used the money to buy video games with it. One day he loans his friend his game collection. His friend moved away with it. Woo woo this kid genuinely sounds like a pose though. Not instant, big karma nonetheless. My dad kept getting his lunch stolen at work one day, so he got my mother to get the spiciest hot sauce on the market to put on the sandwich. Lo and behold, the guy who stole it was looking red as a hot iron. They fired the guy and my dad got to eat his lunch again. Similar story I have posted before. This guy at my job could only afford a tuna sandwich for lunch and someone stole it here and there, and once did so three days in a row. He got his revenge by making his sandwich on the third day with really cheap wet cat food. His lunch was left alone after that. I used to be a zookeeper. This bee was making fun of our llama for looking ugly. The llama was a rescue who had corrective jaw surgery. The bee pointed and laughed at our llama. The llama spat in her mouth. I gave the llama a treat and told her that she was a good girl. This right here is the greatest story of why llamas are so freaking cool. One time in middle school, this guy who was relatively new at our school was making fun of a girl in our class who fell in the hallway in between classes. Coincidentally this was a girl I had a crush on. He was a little bit of a class clown, and was mocking her, making her look stupid and clumsy. Apparently, 
he misjudged his footing, and while attempting to jokingly ape the way she had fallen, actually fell for real, and landed squarely on his back in front of everybody. He broke his arm in the process, passing him by in the hallway. I saw him just lying there, surrounded by adults and staring up at the ceiling, face completely expressionless. He didn't come back to school. Pretty sure he moved after that. I would have too. Jackass I knew in high school was trying to get a mentally handicapped kid to do stuff for a jackass type video in a very nasty cruel way behind the gym. I'm sitting behind a car smoking a joint in the parking lot. Special kid is not dumb enough to play this game. Jackass decides to get him to hold the camera. People are heckling and calling out suggestions. Nothing interesting happens. Then someone comes out with a basketball. Puts it on the concrete sidewalk. Then hands Jack out an aluminium basketball bat and mimes hitting the basketball, like splitting a log with an axe. Jack out winds up, brings it down and I hear blah wank. His head is shooting back, blood everywhere. From where I was and how much weed I smoked I thought he smashed his skull. Bat clatters like 20 feet behind him and he goes down backwards. The bat bounced, nailed him in the eyebrow, split it open, and knocked him the frick out. He was okay, but had a scar and a heck of a black eye for a few weeks, and the whole time the mentally handicapped kid he'd been trying to humiliate on camera is filming and laughing so freaking hard he's crying. But security didn't believe no one hit jackass till he showed them the video. Someone comes out with a basketball, puts it on the concrete sidewalk, then hands jackass an aluminium basketball bat and mimes hitting the basketball, like splitting a log with an axe. Whoever that was knew exactly what was going to happen. That a police car rounded the corner just in time for me and a guide to tell them that a bunch of kids had just thrown a firework at the owner of a nearby store. It was literally moments later, and they could see the kids running down the road from where we stopped them. I've got two. Can't really decide on which one is best. 1. Driving to work during a snowstorm. Pretty much everyone is taking it easy, because snow. Some guy in an Infinity FX35 thinks that he's invincible, so he comes driving down the road probably 15 miles an hour faster than everyone else. So he goes past me and I don't see him again until the fork in the road. Mr. Superhero went into the turn too fast and slammed into an iron fence at the triangle dividing the two streets. He was fine, because he was outside of his car, looking at it with a look of confusion. He too, was driving home one night around 10pm. I'm stopped at a red light in front of a shopping mall, about midway down the block. The east and westbound road is separated by a pedestrian island. Someone pulls up next to me at the light, looks around, and drives through the red light. Suddenly, from the opposite side of the street, red and blue lights, a whoop whoop of a siren, and an NYPD SUV hops the island and pulls the guy over. The police weren't camped out or anything, just waiting at the red light on their side of the street right place at the right time this happened a couple of months back young driver in a brand new merc dangerously overtaking me and others on a single lane caught up with him at the next set of lights two lane mind turning his going straight both with a car ahead of us did the universal wind down your window sign and suggested he cool his driving or he will get into a crash told me to frick off lights go green he boots it off the line Smack into the back of the car in front. Bonnet bent in half. Radiator blown. Airbags deployed. I got out. Checked the other poor innocent driver was unharmed. Gave him my details as a witness. Gave the dickhead driver the old told you so and carried on my way. A guy in a charger was weaving through traffic and passing at high speed in a work zone on the interstate and I said to the other person in the car it'd be nice to see one of those buttholes get busted just once. A minute later. A state trooper swings out from the tree line on an access road and pulls the guy over. Double fines for speeding in a work zone. By the by. My best friend's mom has always been like a second mom to me. At least since my bestie and I were in 4th grade. This year for Easter, she invited me over for dinner with her family. So I decided to get her a quick gift, which included some dog toys for her huskies, some flowers, a thank you card and a scratch off ticket. 
She has always been so kind to me. She even writes the same sweet motherly messages on my Facebook timeline as she does for her own daughters. But that's probably why I cried with utter joy when the ticket I bought her won her $1000. It wasn't necessarily instant karma since she has been good to me for more than 16 years, but she won some money in an instant. In elementary school, all the kids went to the bus stop together. As we walked, one of the second graders ran into a lamp post. One of my classmates couldn't stop laughing. We crossed the street and he was still laughing his butt off and didn't look where he was going. You know what's coming. He ran into a lamp post as well and instantly got laughed at. I thought he was gonna get hit by a car was at a show jumping event and a little girl went up to a famous show jumper with her book of famous riders and asked him to sign it. She couldn't find him in the book and asked if he could help her. He responded find it yourself and walked away. In his final round, after the incident, worth $100,000, first jump the horse stopped and he fell face first into the floor. Not going to lie I was laughing. I am glad you laughed. The best one was a real f goon at my school. He got up on the roof of a shed to pee on kids as they left the shed, but this dumb bully fell off the roof resulting in a broken wrist, injured wang and humiliation. I was walking to the store with a friend when we were 13. We heard someone yelling at us and turned around to see some kid about 50 feet away. He was yelling and calling us fs and every other homophobic word you know at that age. As we started to walk over to confront him he did a 180 and started running while turning. Well he spun around and ran face first into a tree and hit it hard enough that he fell to the ground from the impact. We couldn't stop laughing and hopefully that was enough embarrassments for him to learn a lesson. Holy crap. I misread that thought you meant he hit the tree so hard that IT fell to the ground. I'm so late to this party, but this is too good not to share. When I was about 16, and my brother was 12, we lived on a ranch. We had horses, cats, dogs, and chickens. Because of the horses, we had this thing called a lunge whip. It's basically a long, flexible pole with a length of rope at the end. My brother and I were waiting for the horses to finish eating. Lil bro was dragging around the lunge whip, at first, to play with the cats. But then Dong Chi starts snapping the whip near the cats, mostly to irritate me. Hey, don't do that. Mum already said that you weren't supposed to, and if you accidentally hit one of them I'll beat you up me. Lil bro looks me in the eyes and says, I do what I want. He flicks the whip once more, and it snaps back and hits him straight on the dong. I have called him dong bruise for years. Was skiing at Breckenridge, and they have a Bartow lift. For those which don't know what that is, it basically a big upside down 6 foot tall uppercase T which is pulled by a cable. You hold on and it slide you up the mountain. The T shape allows for two people to hold on to either side of the crock of the T. People fall off of this all the time when they are not used to it, which gives locals a sense of superiority. Well one brave young boy, maybe 12-14 on a snowboard set out to handle the T-bar. He lost his footing about 30 seconds and but held on despite being dragged. This happens often but usually for only a few seconds as most have good enough sense to let go. Instead this boy was dragged up more than a thousand feet on his belly. I was behind him as was another couple. We could not believe he was holding on. Well that bar stopped further up for someone else, didn't stop for him, and he is too exhausted to stand up and fix his situation. But the couple behind him have been laughing so hard that when that bar abruptly started up again they fell off. Bottom line is he made it to the top and they did not. Not a case of bad karma luckily. My friend and I were walking out of Walmart when a homeless man asked me for money for food. I don't ever carry cash on me. So I say I'm sorry I don't have any and go to walk away. However, I had worked earlier that day and still had an open snacks in my car. So I walk back up to him and say I don't have any money but I do have some snacks and water in my car that I can give you. His face lit up. So I walked to my car and grabbed the snacks and walked back. I hand him the bag. It had a granola bar, two bags of chips, some crackers and two water bottles. He thanks me about 20x and I tell him to have a good day. So I go to my friend's house and we're just hanging out and I'm scrolling through a citywide selling page on Facebook. I had just bought a new king size bed and didn't have a bed set for it. I came across this beautiful solid wood frame with built in drawers that was in perfect condition. 
The seller had it listed for $100. She was selling it because it didn't fit in her new house. So I have my husband and some friends get a truck and we go to get it that same day. I gave the lady the $100 and she mentions that I meant to post it for $1000 but mistyped. Since we already agreed on the price before I realized it, you can have it for the $100. And that's how I gave a homeless man food and good karma greeted me with a practically new bed set for $100. I would feel so bad about taking it for $100 and offer more. This is why I don't work in sales. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.